What's up guys, I want to save you the trouble of doing something dumb like I did. I almost sold my Pentax 6-7 for the dumbest reason in the world, and that's because even when I was focused, it never looked sharp. I thought maybe I needed a new focusing screen, so I started looking into that. Uh, the focusing screen would have cost me as much as the camera cost me, and I was like, nah, forget it. Then I just kind of shelved the camera for a while, I didn't really use it, then I wanted to shoot use it on a shoot so I started using it again same problem I'm like alright I'm getting rid of this camera because I also ended up finding a Leica M3 which I wasn't looking for but it was a really good deal so I picked it up but I could not afford the lens and it's not exactly that I couldn't afford the lens it's that you know when you really want something but you feel like you have to get rid of something first and so I was like okay you know what I'm not using my Pentax 6-7. I hate getting rid of cameras I do like. I wanted to like it, but I, I can't have a camera I'm not using. I want that Leica lens. And so I decided I'd get rid of it again. But dealing with people can be really frustrating because people are just going to lowball you and all that. And it just goes with selling. And in all honesty, I kind of backed out of a few deals. It wasn't hard to find a buyer. I just kept kind of second guessing it. And so I held on to it. And then one day I'm like, wait a minute, maybe there's a diopter I'm missing. You know, maybe I'm just not really seeing it. Didn't see one, but I did see, you know, the eyepiece could kind of twist. Maybe uh, it's like a polarizing filter. Nope, it's not that. But I did some research, I found that there is a Nikon eyepiece that will fit here. So I thought maybe that's the solution. But again, I wanted that like a lens. I, I, it's really frustrating to have a camera you can't use because you don't have a lens for it. So I thought I'd get rid of it again. But before doing that, I don't recall why, I took this all the way off. I think maybe I wanted to see if I could figure out its diameter, if I wanted to replace it. And when I looked through the camera, suddenly everything looked clear when I focused. That's when I realized whoever owned this camera before me has corrective lenses and they actually installed this. This is not the original eyepiece. In fact, it's a Nikon eyepiece. It is a Nikon plus one HP. Problem solved. So if you guys are having trouble focusing a Pentax 6-7, and you know obviously you're not the original owner I'm guessing if you're having that issue then before you sell it check the eyepiece see if someone installed a different eyepiece it may be that and or maybe you do have wear corrective lenses and you need a new eyepiece yourself and if that's the case you can get different Nikon ones that do fit I'm not fully aware of that, you know which ones you want where they come from like which model because again turns out I don't need one you know you're supposed to have an eyepiece here but it does not affect anything at all um, maybe it's a little less comfortable to put my eye up to here I wouldn't even say that so I hope you guys enjoy your Pentax 6-7 let me know if you guys have any questions or if I can help you in any way. If you're new to the channel and you're a film advocate and you also want to raise the conversation about what we're talking about in the photography community, please like and subscribe. I'm not going to do a bunch of obnoxious gear reviews where, you know, everyone's talking about the same things that don't really matter. I mean, if you love the craft of photography, you don't care about the gear that's coming out. I mean, sure, I'm curious. I'm sure you're curious, but let's focus on what's important. I'll see you guys in the next video.